Welcome to Carol and Gary's Sea America Tour. Hello again, everyone. It is Saturday, October 13th, 2018. As I said in our Des Moines, Iowa video last week, Carol, Jasper, and I are now headed toward Apache Junction, Arizona for the winter. This will be our second year of snowbirding. We left Omaha on Monday, October 8th and drove 319 miles to Great Bend, Kansas. On Tuesday, October 9th, we drove 301 miles from Great Bend, Kansas to Dalhart, Texas. On Wednesday, October 10th, we drove 155 miles from Dalhart, Texas to Santa Rosa, New Mexico. The original plan was to continue on to Albuquerque, New Mexico on Wednesday because Albuquerque is having their annual hot air balloon festival between October 6th and October 14th. But because of the hot air balloon festival, all of the campgrounds as far as an hour away were booked Santa Rosa is almost two hours east of Albuquerque, so we booked three nights and will make two day-long trips to Albuquerque. From what I can see so far, New Mexico is relatively flat with low-level vegetation. Numerous varieties of small cactus are visible from our campground. All gathering of 13 balloons in 1972, the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta has grown to become the largest balloon event in the world. Held each year during the first week in October, the Balloon Fiesta now attracts over 700 balloons from around the world. The person who flies a balloon is called a pilot. The pilot must undergo balloon safety and navigation training and be certified before they are allowed to fly a balloon. In addition to the pilot, there is a support crew who helps set up and then follows or chases a balloon to assist with its recovery. Carol wasn't feeling well when we woke up on Thursday, October 11th but didn't want to miss the balloon fiesta, so she decided that I should go alone and she would rest, hoping to feel better on Friday. When I arrived at approximately 11.30 Thursday morning, all of the balloons except this one giving tethered rides were gone. The balloons were all launched at 7 a.m. and wouldn't return until that evening. But the size of the exhibit area was huge. Imagine 54 football fields all put together. That's the size of the Balloon Fiesta Park's 78-acre launch field. Carol and I had watched the morning balloon launch on the news before I left Santa Rosa, so I wasn't surprised that the launch area was quiet when I arrived. But Carol wanted to see the afterglow show at sundown, so the plan was that I'd stay late enough to video it for her. For the afterglow show, several balloons would set up and then simultaneously light their burners, providing bright lights against the dark sky in the background. For obvious safety reasons, the balloons weren't going to be taking off during the afterglow show. Since it had to get dark before they could have the afterglow show, I decided to check out the chainsaw carving exhibit being held on the end of the balloon launch field. Chainsaw carving was an all-day event that had started at 8 a.m but carvers had all day to finish their masterpiece. Carvings were to be judged later in the day and then a prize awarded.
Each of these items was made by one of the six carvers, and each item, including the item currently being made, was for sale. After the chainsaw exhibit, I walked around the rest of the afternoon, talking to people who were also waiting for the afterglow exhibit. One couple that I talked to told me that they had arrived at 5 a.m. that morning to get parking and have the place to sit at one of the picnic tables provided for the event. But unfortunately, the afterglow exhibit was canceled at approximately 7 p.m. that evening due to high winds. So I left and drove the hour and a half back to Santa Rosa. When I arrived, Carol said that she was feeling better and hoped that she would be able to go to the Special Shapes exhibit Friday morning. The Special Shapes exhibit is made up of balloons with anything other than the standard balloon shape, like this one. We had watched Thursday morning Special Shapes launch on the news before I left Santa Rosa. When I told Carol what the people said about needing to get an early start to avoid traffic, find parking, and have a seat, we calculated that we would need to leave Santa Rosa at 3 a.m. We woke up in Santa Rosa at 2.30 Friday morning, 30 minutes before the alarm was scheduled to go off. Carol threw some bottled water and a heavy sweatshirt for each of us into a carrying bag while I took Jasper out to do his business. Then we took off for Albuquerque. We arrived at the balloon launch grounds at approximately 5 a.m. Carol was amazed at how many people were already there. We found a vacant picnic table on the edge of the launch field and waited for it to get light. We could see vehicles arriving with trailers. At first light, we could see that five balloons were set up some distance away. Then we could see and hear the pilots activate the balloons' burners. These balloons were the Dawn Patrol, balloons that take off at first light. Shortly after the Dawn Patrol balloons were off the ground, we began seeing other balloons appearing nearby. Balloons are laid out flat on the ground, then a large portable fan like this one is used to blow air into the balloon. When the balloon is full of air, the crew attaches the basket and tips it upright. Next, the burner is turned on to heat the air that has been, been blown into the balloon by the fan. Heating in the air makes the balloon rise. As it got lighter, a few more balloons took off. And then suddenly it seemed like there were wrecked balloons everywhere you looked. A balloon pilot that I talked to yesterday said that there were 750 pilots signed up for this year's event. At 8 a.m., the special shapes balloons were scheduled to take off, but it looks like everyone with a balloon is flying this morning. Here are some of the balloons that we saw.
The Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta was awesome to see. And if you don't mind getting up early and you don't mind huge crowds, the annual Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta should be on everyone's bucket list. But make your reservations a year in advance or you will find, like we did, that everything is booked. Since we traveled for three days this week to get here, I'm going to close out this video now. Carol and I are headed for Roswell, New Mexico tomorrow to look for aliens, and then we will be going to Carlsbad Caverns. If you are watching this video but have not yet subscribed, please do so to be notified of future videos. And feel free to share with your friends. Thanks for watching.